Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 5. And you know what I think is really damn cool, honestly? So, in my very first Game of Thrones video, I started it around a year ago this time. And I was wearing this exact Santa hat in that video. And now it is Christmas time. It is now December. So it is time to bring this hat back out. I was going to wear it in the last video because the last video would have been December 3rd. But I couldn't find it until like two days ago. So I think that's pretty cool how like my very first Game of Thrones video, I'm wearing this. And then not really the last one. Like we won't finish the last one until probably like, um, like next month or whatever. Maybe even February. I think it would have been pretty cool if I was wearing this the first episode and the last not like just to wear it just because it's like around the same time of year i don't know it's that seems pretty cool to me but anyway in the last episode jamie almost died braun almost died <laughs> Daenerys pulled up on them with the dothraki and her dragon yeah that was a power move honestly that was a power move by Daenerys. and i mean it okay Jamie, he had that he was gonna kill Daenerys, dude. He was so close. And then the dragon, you know, turned at him and then Jakar's his ass, but then like someone tackled him off the horse. I'm pretty sure that someone was Braun. I didn't, you know, it happened really fast, but I'm pretty sure it was Braun. So then it just ended with them being in the water. Now, this episode will probably pick up like a little bit after that. I don't know how the hell Jamie would ever get away. I think Daenerys is probably gonna keep him as a prisoner. Like she's gonna capture him, right? And then honestly, I think she just like legit, legitimately might send her back, uh, might send him back to Cersei just so he could tell her what just happened. <laughs> like that would be a damn power move. Maybe not like a smart idea because you could keep Jamie and leverage him against Cersei, you know, to beat her, but just to straight up send him back just so he could tell Cersei what happened. That's a damn power move because it's like, yeah, we don't need like, sure, Jamie would probably help us win this war if uh, we have him captured as a prisoner, but nah, we're gonna win it regardless. You can have him back, you know. That's that's just confidence right there. But yeah, I hope something like that kind of happens. And honestly, dude, Jamie, okay, Jamie came so close to death in the last episode. I I realized I do not want Jamie to die at all, dude. I do not want him to die. I'm gonna be so hurt if he dies. I would have been so hurt in the last episode if he died, and I'm gonna be so hurt if he dies. If he dies, I mean when he dies, because it's gonna happen, dog. It's gonna happen. Everyone's gonna die. But okay, honestly, since it's inevitable, I won't be like that mad. As long as it's not Cersei. If Cersei is not the reason why he dies, I won't be mad. But if, if it's literally her fucking fault, I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, if it comes down to her being able to save Jamie, but she's like, nah, it's too much of an inconvenience and just lets him die, I'm gonna fucking scream. I swear to God. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Okay, so it's directly in the aftermath of what just happened. Did Daenerys already dip or what? Or is she gonna take him in? Like, how, like I imagine they were only under... Oh, they probably swam away. Swam all the... Okay. Because all the damage looks like it was on the back. I mean, still. You could have killed me. What do you mean? He saved you. The fuck were you doing back there? Yeah. What was that about, Jamie? Killing her. You I mean, it probably... It would have ended the war, but, like... You would have died in the process. You almost... You should have, but Bron saved you. Listen Jamie. Do I get what I'm owed? A dragon doesn't get to kill you. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that's why Bronn saved them. Okay. <laughs> she decides to use them, to really use them. You're fucked. Uh huh. Don't you mean we're fucked? No, I do not. <laughs> Dragons are where our partnership ends. <laughs> I'm not going to be around when those things start spitting fire on King's Landing. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> I have to tell <laughs> Cersei. Yeah, you do. Okay. Might as well jump back in that river. Yeah, bro. We're fucking dead. <laughs> oh, reality check for Jamie. I hope Cersei dies by just like Daenerys' dragon just burning her alive. Oh, that'd be so satisfying. But okay, Jamie, I love I love how noble you are, okay? I love it. But like, dog. <sighs> I mean, like, he had a point. Like, if he got to kill her right there with the spear or whatever he grabbed, 
and then the dragon got him too, it, it, I, he would have taken that 10 out of 10 times. When Tyrion sees all the damage that's happened, he's like, fuck, these were my people at one point. Kind of feels shitty about it, but hey, it's what it is now. Oh, yeah. We, oh, we taking all these Lannisters in with us? Hey, you serve me now, or you're dead. I mean, it's not that many. It's, I mean, it kind of helps. Mm -hmm. That I've come to destroy your cities, mm -hmm. burn I down never. your homes, murder you, and orphan your children. And all I want to destroy is the wheel that has rolled over rich and poor. I offer you a choice. <laughs> Bend the knee and join me. Sir, we will leave the world a better place than we found it. Mm -hmm. Or refuse and die. Yep. Oh, I'm bending that knee so fucking quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of them, you know, there's gonna be a couple who, aren't, who won't, but like... <laughs> oh, my, oh yeah, Sam's dad's not just bending the knee. Hell no. I hope that... Hell no, he's not. I hope the dragon die. I hope the dragon kills him. No, I kind of like Dickin. Come on, bend the knee. You will not kneel. I already have a queen. <laughs> My sister. Wrong answer. Was she queen until recently, though, was she? Mm. When she murdered your rightful queen. Yeah. So it appears your allegiances are somewhat flexible. Mm-hmm. No easy choices in war. Yeah. She was born in Westeros. She's lived here all her life. Doesn't mean shit. Murdered your own father. Yeah, he was a cunt. Used to support a foreign invader. One with no ties to this land. An army of savages at her back. Yes. You will not trade your honor for your life. I respect that. <laughs> I don't kill him. Slit his throat. Whatever else he is, he is a true soldier. Mm -hmm. You'd be invaluable at the war. Why, why is Tyrion trying? For the war, not my queen. Yeah, Tyrion doesn't want him to die. That's why he tried to save him right there. You will have to kill me too. No, not you. No, not you. Who are you? A stupid boy. I'm Dickon Tarly, son of Randall Tarly. Damn it. You are the future of your house. This war has already wiped one great house from the world. Mm -hmm. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. Yeah, wait, is he trying to save him because he. For Sam? I don't think Tyrion ever really met Sam. Like, they may yeah. have. They probably had, like, one interaction, but, like, I don't think that's. Yeah, I don't think that's why. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, kind of. I meant what I said. Yes. Don't go back on your words. Take it. I gave him a choice. I don't... Uh, R.I.P. Dickin, man. Mm -hmm. Shit. He was kind of a bro. Yes. Stop beheading entire I'm families. I'm not beheading anyone. Oh, she's gonna... Yeah, she's gonna burn them, bro. Your grace. Damn. Bro, I think I'd rather just get my head cut off than be burned alive. Ugh. I mean, I feel kind of bad for Sam, not gonna lie, but his dad was a dick, but his brother, his brother's kind of cool. Sentence you to die. Mm. Dracarys. Oh. Oh. That's so tough. That is tough. <laughs> yeah, everyone's better than you now. Well, that sucks for Sam. Not really. His dad, his dad hated Sam. Sam's dad hated him. I'm sure... I, I don't know how Sam got along with his brother. I think they were bros. I don't know. How many men did we lose? Whoa, no, honey, honey. We haven't done a full accounting. We lost everyone, dog. Me, it, literally, me and Bronn survived. That's it. We have the Tyrell gold. We have the Iron Bank behind us. We can buy them the same as our you, men, but they'll fight. If you don't understand. They will be. I just saw the Dothraki fight. <laughs> they'll beat any mercenary army. They'll beat any army I've ever seen. Yes. It wasn't war for them. It was sport. Yes. Burnt, burnt a thousand wagons. Kyber and Scorpion fight bulls bigger than you. They couldn't stop it. And she has three of them. Yes. Pretty sure back in like season one, Robert said something like, "You gotta be a, you gotta be a fool to fight the Dothraki or some shit like that." Like he would never do this. Her mind, she's winning. Maybe we can count on Tyrion to intercede on our behalf, by way of apology for murdering our father and son. He didn't. Father. Tyrion didn't kill Joffrey. He had nothing to do with it. 
Yep, it was Olena. Tell her. All this time, it still amazes me. It was Olena. Mm. She confessed before she died. And this was before or after she drank the poison you so kindly provided her. Uh. And you believed her. Well, Lena, would you rather have seen your granddaughter married to Joffrey or Tommy? Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> Which one would Marjorie have been better able to control? Which one would have made Olena the true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms? Yeah, Tommen. Truth. She's ruthless, but she is not a liar. Shouldn't have listened to you. What? She should have died screaming. She's oh my God. like a son, her grandchildren, her whole house. And if we don't find a way out of this wall, we'll follow them. So we fight and die, or we submit and die. I know my choice. Mm. A soldier should know his. Oh my God. Okay, so you're gonna die regardless. All right. At least you know that. At least you have time to accept that, you know? Because I kind of feel like Jamie now is like scared to die a little bit. I mean, obviously, when he tried to kill Daenerys, no. But like, if he were to like have his head cut off, mm. oh wait, what the fuck is going on here? What are you doing, buddy? Does the dragon know? Does the dragon know? John's a. Uh... Oh god, it's like when Nala barks at me. Just kidding. Whoa, the eye. Yeah, Daenerys is kind of like, whoa. She's like, hmm, is John different? <laughs> you know? Damn, that must have been terrifying for John. It looked like John was about to cry, <laughs> low key. <laughs> But what I'm trying to, what I was trying to say was, if like Jamie was sent, was sentenced to death, I feel like he would be terrified of it, because like, think about when he, when Rob had him as a, a POW, it was kind of, dude, he was just chilling the entire time, maybe because he knew he was gonna get out, or whatever. He just had so much more confidence back then, but like I don't know, he's a lot more humble now, and he he would he would die a noble death for sure, like killing Daenerys right there. He, he was, he would 100%, you know, he was trying to do that, but whatever. Just like a, a stupid little death? Nah, I feel like he'd be terrified of that. I don't know. We both want to help people. We can only help them from a position of strength. When you first came here, Sir Davos said you took a knife in the heart for your people. <laughs> it, it, it's a metaphor, okay? So it was a figure of speech? Yes. This man says he is your friend. Oh my god, bro. <gasps> Jora! I thought they were talking about John for a second. Like, they're about to press John. I was like, no, the fuck you're not. But, oh my god, it's Jora! And then they revealed him. He's all healed. Jon Snow, this is Sir Jora Mormon. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! I should be your father. Yeah. He was a great man. Yeah, Jorah's probably like, fuck, is everyone served in the next watch? You found a cure? I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. Mm hmm. I return to your service, my queen. Oh, Jorah looks so good. If you'll have me. Of course. It would be my honor. Yes. Give me a hug. Aww. They should have kissed. Oh, yeah, he's gonna see through all these crows, right? Can he see through all of them or just one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's checking on the wall, though. He's like, all right, what's, what's booming over here? Watch, dude, the Night King's gonna be so fucking close. Damn it. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not that close. Like, relatively. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty damn close, actually. Like, give it, like, a couple weeks. They'll be at the wall in, like, a couple weeks. Oh, mm. <laughs> Damn, that's terrifying. We need to send ravens. Mm hmm. <laughs> a crippled boy claims to have seen dead men on the march. Because mm. it is a bit much. Damn, this is fast, dude. Yep, yeah, such a fast paced season. Oh my god. The wildlands, no one. Perhaps we ought to listen to what he has to say. Perhaps yeah. you need more scribing work to discipline your mind. I said so. If you tell people the threat is real, they'll believe it. Mm-hmm. 
If you advise all the lords to send their men north to hold the wall, they'll do it. Yeah, so do that. But of course it's not. Oh my God. They may find something that lets us defeat the army of the dead for good. Mm-hmm. It could be done. But it's not going to be. <laughs> it's also possible that this message is part of a ploy by the Dragon Queen. To lure southern armies away from the lands they are currently defending to open those lands to easy conquest. Okay, I mean, like, dog, like, if you're gonna be this skeptical mm. over a raven, why would you ever trust any raven ever? It could just be sent by anyone, you know? Unless you specifically know their handwriting. But it's like, still, dog. You know, if it's like, unless it's somebody personal and, like, you know their handwriting and you know for sure it's them. That's like the only way you can know it's truly who it is if you like you you know their handwriting. My brother were just burnt alive. Oh, they did not tell. They did. They did tell him. Horrible business. I haven't had the heart to tell him yet. Oh, he's a good lad. Dude. Uh, oh, that one's from Winterfell. Uh, I don't know if you do tell Sam honestly, because like I feel so bad for him. She gave Tarly a choice. A man who had taken up arms against her. What else could she do? To burn him alive alongside his son? Can't make her decisions for her. That's what I used to tell myself about her father. I found the traitors, but I wasn't the one burning them alive. I was only a purveyor of information. Yeah. So is very interior is very starting to doubt her. Doubt it. But it's like this is like the first thing. Yeah, that's how you justify it. Screams rose higher. I'm like, not the one doing it. Yeah, like justify doing your job, you know? You need to find a way to make her listen. But I mean, hey, it got everyone else to bend the knee, so. What? What is it? Thought Aya was dead. Oh, that's right. Bran was dead. <laughs> Both of them. I'm happy for you. Damn. He has to go back. I'm happy. Bran saw the Night King and his army marching towards Eastwatch. Yeah. That's not good news, Daenerys. I need to go home. Yeah. You said you go. don't have enough men. We'll but fight we have with the fight men we have. Yeah. Like we did in the... Join us. Against Ramsay. give the country to Cersei. No. As soon fam. as I march away, she marches in. Perhaps Tyrion. not. Yeah, but Tyrion just calculated a move. Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story. What if we prove her wrong? Oh, to the south. To bring the dead to her. Yep. Is that possible? Go grab one. Bring one of these things down to King's Landing and show her the truth. I don't think it's that easy. Is somehow convinced not to murder us the moment we set foot in the capital. Yeah. The only person she listens to is Jamie. He might listen to me. Yep. It's, it's very risky. Yeah. How do you send a raven to get a hold of Jamie without anyone else seeing it? So. I can smuggle you in. Mm. Mm -hmm. With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. Oh, fuck. You asked me to find a cure so I could serve you. <sighs> Allow me to serve you. Oh my god, Jordan, that's why we love you, dog. That's mad noble of you. Three folk will help us. Mm -hmm. They know the real north better than anyone. They won't follow sure. Sejora. They John. won't have to. Oh, John's gonna go. I haven't given you permission to leave. With respect, Your Grace, I don't need your permission. Ooh! I am a king. <laughs> I'm a king. <laughs> I put my trust in you, a stranger, because I knew it was the best chance for my people, for all our people, to trust in a stranger, because it's our best chance. Bro, send a dragon with him, bro. I mean, Daenerys. Wait, dog, dog, I have an idea. I have the easiest idea ever. Daenerys flies in on a dragon. Whatever, right? Boom. This is her dragon, okay? My hand. Okay, this... This is one of the dead dead people, right? She goes, whoop. Fuck. She goes, mm, like that. Boom. <laughs> That'd be so easy. That'd be so fast and easy. Just snag one of them really quick. You know? Boom. Vale came here for you, Lady Stark. I, I guess we need the I guess we need it alive though, you know? To like prove this or say. But whatever. Could it turn a dragon into a <laughs> you know, it's one of the dead? That'd be horrible. <laughs> or I mean, I guess you're risking Daenerys' life too, so nah, but and she's the only one that can fly a dragon, so. <sighs> just have the just have the dragon carry with his feet the entire time, so 
I don't know. Like ghost. He didn't. He trusted you to hold it for him. These are mother and father's chambers. Mm-hmm. And? Nothing. What? Say what you mean. You always liked nice things. Made you feel better than everyone. Are you angry with me? They were mm. insulting John. Glover has 500 men, Royce has 2,000. Offend them, and John loses his army. Yeah. That heads first. Bro, don't. Arya, no. And if John doesn't come back, report. So you can work together to give you what you really want. Oh my god, Arya, stop. You're thinking it right now. Oh my god. My lady. Last time I was here, I killed my father with a crossbow. Damn, they're already in King's Landing. Oh my god. Bro, I not gonna lie, dude. I saw a comment on episode one of season seven. And it was like, fast travel's a thing now. Bro, it really fucking is. Like, the last couple episodes, I've kind of been like, meh. But like, nah, dude. This episode really shows how fast travel is, how fast everyone's traveling. Oh my god. No time for this. We should be preparing the city for a siege. The Dothraki are coming. All the more reason for you to train. Unless you oh gosh. Today might be the day I kill you by accident. Oh, you won't be swinging it at me. Oh, what? Oh, okay, Braun. Of course, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Okay. I needed to see you. Oh God, this is so awkward. And I knew you'd never agree to meet. You made me look like a complete fool. Steps ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Father would have been proud. Don't talk about father. Listen to I me. I once told Braun that if I ever saw you again, I'd cut you in half. Mm. It'll take you a while with a sparring sword. Yeah. <laughs> Aim to execute me. Yeah. He knew I was innocent. Mm -hmm. He didn't hate me because of anything I did. He hated me because of what I am. Did he think I wanted to be born this way? Did he think I chose? What do you want? Daenerys will win this war. <laughs> he knows. Jamie knows it. You must know there's no way around that. Daenerys is not her father. She is even willing to suspend the hostilities if Cersei agrees to certain terms. You want Cersei to bend the knee? You can ask her yourself. I, I don't. And Daenerys doesn't. Not right now, anyway. Eventually, yeah. Damn, that was a really vulnerable scene for Tyrion. It's nice to see him and Jamie, but not under these circumstances. Wait, is Gendry gonna be in here? <gasps> Bro, we haven't seen this fool since season fucking two. Or three, or whenever it was. Sir oh, Devil's still be rowing. Yep. Well, here I am, arming Lannisters, and I never get a second look. Fair riding. Above things are coming. Yep. We need you. Make us make us a fuck ton of weapons. I'm with you. I think you need to understand. I'm ready. Yeah. Mm. Oh, bet. Okay, easy. Making weapons for the family that killed my father. I never knew what for, but I've always known I'd know it when it comes. <laughs> Love the mentality. I don't know much about swinging swords, but this, this I know. Bro, is that dragon glass? Bro, he can make us dragon glass weapons. He'll teach us how to do it, then we can make a f we can um we can reproduce them at a record rate. Oh my god, I see guards. Oh god. Oh, we gotta we're gonna have to fight him. No weapons, friends. I promise. Dude, don't tell me Sir Devil's dies. I'll be so pissed. Your boat. It is. Mm. I try to stay away from them to avoid good men such as yourselves. Okay, smooth, smooth. I can't say it was a pleasure doing business with you. What's in the boat? Come have a look. Oh, smart, 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 smart. I'd hurry to your favorite establishment, or you'll put a hole in that chain mail. <laughs> Smooth. <gasps> Tyrion! Oh, we have to kill these guards. We have to kill them now. We have to. They have to die. No, this is complicated. Oh, mate. Oh, now they realize. Fuck. Oi, dwarf! <laughs> we was looking for a dwarf with a scar like that a while back. Oh, he's dead. Not me. Arrangement. Yep, Gendry, I see. <laughs> More than Queen Sir. Oh! Good shit! Oh. I mean, hey, look, it's tough. We don't want to do it, but we had to do it. This is Gendry. <laughs> He'll do. Yep. Bro, get your gold back at least. Like, you know, whatever. All right. The hand of the queen, why are you here? 
Because you're my husband? What the fuck? I met with Tyrion. Oh, fuck. To discuss an armistice. She's mm -hmm. just won a great victory. Why would you want a truce now? Because an army of dead men is marching on the Seven Kingdoms. Mm hmm Are you going to punish him? Tyrion. Bronn. Oh, God, no, not Bronn. Do you think anything of importance happens in this city without me knowing? You let it happen. Why? Yeah. An accommodation with the Dragon Queen could be in our immediate interest. Yeah. She's scared. To beat her, we have to be clever. Mm -hmm. We have to fight her like father would have. Oh, seriously. Very humble for you to think mm -hmm. that way. Very humble for you to think that way. You know, you'd think with all the fast travel going on and the amount of time they're traveling from place to place, mm -hmm. her hair would have grown back by now, unless she's just keeping it that short on purpose. Five Kings Landing. Yet again. Your Grace. This is Prince Gendry. Your Grace. <laughs> I'm Robert Baratheon's son. Bastard son. <laughs> Honest. Father once at Winterfell. I met yours. In my shop. Yep. I remember that. I remember both those. You're a lot leaner. And you're a lot shorter. Yeah. Whoa. The Davos told me where you're going, Your Grace, and why. Let me come with you. Mm -hmm. Don't be a fool. You're not a soldier. No, but I'm a fighter. <laughs> you know how to use one. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> True about what's up there. I can't wait out this war. Yeah, nobody mind me. I mean... All I've ever done is live to a ripe old age. I mean, if Genji, he doesn't mind dying and, like, he wants to die for this, then I, okay, I can't be bad about it. But that's cool. We get to see a Stark and a Baratheon back, you know? That's cool. We get that duo again. Techni technically, he's a Stark because of his mom. But, you know, what would officially be his last name? Targaryen? Because uh, if that, if Lena and Rhaegar got married, you know, I don't know for sure if they ever did or not. You know, like I read, I saw a couple comments. You guys were like, yeah, well, the stories we heard about Rhaegar and Lena, they could have been faked or whatever. Like they could have been fake stories, whatever, you know, who knows what really happened. So, but all we know for sure is that John is their kid. So, so we don't know if they were actually, they were betrothed, but they weren't married. So we don't know. They could have been married for all we know, but we don't know. If I don't return, at least you won't have to deal with the king in the north anymore. <laughs> I've grown used to him. Oh, she likes him. They should kiss. No, they shouldn't. They're related. No, they shouldn't. But it's Targaryen custom, actually, so never mind. Do you know how many steps there are in the citadel? No, how would I know that? Guess how many windows are in the Great Sept of Baylor? I, I don't know. Okay. This High Sept on Maynard, he recorded everything. Wait, the Sept of Baylor? Is that what got blown up? <laughs> yeah, that was the same place. Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Raga and remarried him to someone else at the same time. Oh! In secret ceremony in Dawn. Oh my god, bro, that's literally what I was just talking about. for all eternity. Well, the secret to defeating the Night King is probably sitting on some dusty shelf somewhere, completely ignored. But that's all right, isn't it? We can all become slavering, murderous imbeciles in Trolls for Evil Incarnate, as long as we can have access to the full record of High Sept and Maynard 15,782. Yeah, I think Sam's a little stressed, you know, because, yeah. you know, half of half this information is irrelevant. <laughs> Oh, Sam's like, fuck this, I'm going in. I'm going in. I gotta do it. If the answer's in here, I know it. Oh, damn, they're dipping too. They're getting- Wow, okay, shit. He took all that shit and just left. Okay, shit. You always wanted to be a maester. Nah, fuck the maesters. They're stupid. I'm tired of reading about the achievements of better men. Yes. Come on, Sam. I love it. Oh, it's on fire? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Arya's spying on Baelish. Why are you paying her off, bud? Spy? She a spy for you, little bird, huh? Bro, he knows she's there. <laughs> she's gone. Yep. Mm, he had a feeling. Is Baelish on her list? I don't remember if he is or not. Pretty... You're sure this is the only copy in Winterfell? Uh, yes, my lord. What, what? Lady Stark thanks you for your service. Hmm. Bro, was that like the deed the Winterfell or some shit? 
it's probably on him. If it's like that important, you know. Mmm. <gasps> oh yeah. <laughs> he knows. Oh my god, no. <sighs> John's like, I'm fucking back. Isn't it your job to talk him out of stupid fucking ideas like this? <laughs> How oh, many queens awesome. are there now? <laughs> Is the one with the dragons or the one who fucks her brother? <laughs> How many did you bring? Twelve? Six? The big woman? No, bro, no. I'm a liability out there, as you well know. You are. <laughs> I love how honest he is. Scouts found them a mile south of the wall. Who Said they were on the way. Who is it gonna be? Oh. Oh fuck! It's the hound and. Oh fuck! How did they get him here? How did they beat that? What? How did they beat them? All right. Our Lord told us that the Great War is coming. Don't trust him. Yeah. Nope. Don't trust any of them. Okay, Gen Genji has like personal shit with them, but no, John's gonna know exactly what he means. And the last thing their lord told them to do was sell me to a red witch to be murdered. I mean, hey, it had to happen. Bro, wait, the red witch, bro, John. Bro, everyone knows Melisandre. God damn. He was my father. He hunted us like animals. Yeah, that's not kind of awkward. Hey, we're past that. We're past that now. The same moment, heading in the same direction for the same reason. Fuck it, you can come with us, fuck it. Are we coming with you or not? <laughs> Crazy cell, waiting to die. He's right. Yeah. He's talking about the We're priest. We're on the same side. Mm-hmm. How can we be? He knows exactly. We're all breathing. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Whatever our differences are now, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we all fight the same fight. Yeah, I have a really bad feeling about what's going to happen with them, honestly. I have an extremely bad feeling. I feel like a couple of them are probably going to die. Maybe Grenji, because he's, like, so into this, you know? Like, he wants this so badly. He's going to be, like, the first to fight or whatever, and then just get waxed. <laughs> Maybe not, like, waxed, waxed, but, like, eh, He'll probably have, like, a some weapon. He'll probably have, like, a decently honorable death. So... All right, so that was Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 5. <sighs> okay, this episode set up a lot, set up a lot for us to talk about. But one thing I want to talk about specifically is that scene with Sam and Gilly. You know, right before Sam dipped out, Gilly, Gilly read something very interesting right there. Very interesting. You know, she's like, Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Rag Ragger. Rhaegar and remarried him to someone else at the same time hmm that's another hint about like John being a Targaryen and everything like that you know so like yeah I definitely wasn't supposed to know John's a Targaryen <laughs> and <laughs> this is just another hint at it at it like putting it like right in your face well she said it like very casually and Sam like cut her off you know but like still like if you, you know I, dude, I feel like I feel like shit about that, dude. I wish I didn't. Like, I wish I wasn't a dumbass and like looked it up myself. Cause like I didn't know, dude. I was I thought I was supposed to know, but no. Season six, episode ten. We we're just supposed to know John's like mom. That's it. Not the dad. I didn't know that. Like I said, literally, like I said, like a scene before that. Um, we don't know. Okay, like pretending I don't know John's a Targaryen or whatever. All we do know, all, all we should know up to this point is that. Lena, Ned's sister, is John's actual mom, right? Then we do, we we shouldn't know who the dad is. But then, like, yeah, if like you follow the stories of Rhaegar and everything, you know, like Rhaegar, he was betrothed to Lena and everything like that. But they never like officially married. But right here, it just pfft, right here it just gives that away. Oh, they did marry. Okay, mm, interesting, interesting. So yeah, it's just another hint or whatever. So. Yeah, I don't know. Would I watch season six, episode ten? I okay, okay. I wanted to make sure what that scene like was trying to tell us. So I wanted to make sure I knew what it was trying to tell us because I figured that was John's mom, right? And I was like, who is this? I need to figure. Like, I know that's so shitty. I didn't know who that girl was, but it's like I didn't hear her say "big brother" the Ned, so I didn't know that was his sister in the scene. Cause my volume was super low, <laughs> and so I was like, let me let me make sure I know what's going on here. 
And then, so I, yeah, in the video I watched, they just gave it away, and I was like, oh, okay. I, so I, I assumed I was supposed to know that John's a Targaryen, but like, yeah, that sucks. But anyways, anyways, okay, so John's going to, he's going past the wall right here. He just went past the wall. That's cool. We got the Hound and the Priest, and you know, all of them, the Brotherhood of Banners or whatever. That's cool. We got them back to join us, because yeah, the more men, the better, I guess. And we're going to get one of the Whites bring it to Cersei and be like, look, dog, this is what we're fighting, okay? You with it or not? <laughs> I can't imagine Cersei just like, honor okay, like she did say she's gonna pause because it's what T uh, Tywin would have done, you know? Because she's losing this war, she knows she's gonna lose, so, you know, just stall for as long as she can in her interest right now, but she's gonna try and snake him, dog. She's still gonna try to win this war, as no matter what, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know, I kind of hope the Army of the Dead take out Cersei but they'd have to get through the north first which kind of sucks so that means they'd have to like beat John and all of them first so like that that really sucks just to get to Cersei in the south so yeah not likely but we'll, we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes and yeah I see what you guys mean about like the fast travel <laughs> traveling so fast everywhere I feel like what's happened in this season would have been stretched out between like two seasons prior or whatever for you know the show writers decided to go work on other projects so they had to kind of bang through this this in the next season hello quick i see what you guys mean i really do i see it it's, this season's at a very fast pace which i mean i'm not like i'm not like opposed to it you know i'm just not used to it with this show like this show shit's taken for shit takes its time shit marinates you know which makes it really good and they did a really good job of that you know they're not stretching it out just to stretch it out in the past they're stretching it out to really tell you the story of what's happening and you know they did a really good job of keeping it interesting the entire time but yeah like in the past i would say this story this season would be stretched out over two seasons you know if that makes sense i hope that makes sense but yeah in the very beginning we got Daenerys just waxing sam's dad and brother like okay seriously rp to sam's brother dickon was kind of a bro he's kind of a bro not gonna lie but RIP to him, not RIP to Sam's dad, because fuck that fool, he was a dickhead. And then Jory came back, that was so nice to see. Oh, Dear Narius is so happy, you know. I feel like, yeah, since Dario is still in a marine right now, and he's just kicking it over there, Jory and Daenerys are gonna have this little like love story going. They can finally love each other. It's finally gonna happen, guys. Hopefully, hopefully, no one dies. <laughs> hopefully, Jory doesn't die on this mission to go to the north, so. And then, like, Arya's being hella weird The Sansa, just, like, pressing Sansa for, like, no reason, I feel like. Well, calling Sansa out and everything, but, like, I feel like it's so unnecessary, dude. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't see Sansa threatening anyone, to be honest. I don't I feel like Arya's just trying to flex on Sansa. Like, I know I know what you're doing. I know what you want. And, like, that's super cool we got Grenji back, because, like, yeah, I was wondering what the fuck happened to him. You know, like, Sir Devil shipped him out on a boat or whatever hey, end of season two he did that or season three somewhere around that time frame he did that and we haven't seen him since and it's really cool to see him back but now i feel like since he's like really hungry to fight i feel like he's gonna die on this mission in the north i, I don't know dude i don't know i feel like he'd be a big help with teaching people how to make the dragon glass swords because like yeah we have all this dragon glass but they're just blocks right now like we they're not weapons yet i'm sure we could do it without them but it's like he would be a very big help to that so i don't know like maybe he could teach us how to make them in the most efficient way possible i mean he's never used the dragon glass material to make a weapon so maybe he wouldn't be any use because you know he has no knowledge on that material but like still i'm sure it, it would speed up the process of making it making an efficient process of it because we got to make a lot of weapons with those we got to make a lot I'm, I'm assuming that's going to take some time unless we're just going to simulate that like we simulate all the travel in this show so we're just going to super sim that okay and also i'm going to be honest um the note that baelish was given that Arya broke into his um and broke into his room to read okay Without pausing it, I couldn't really read it because that was some shitty ass handwriting, if I'm being honest. And like, I have it on my screen right now. This handwriting is atrocious. I can see it's a letter from Sansa. So this is probably from a while ago. But like, half of this is out of focus too. So it's like, I see a name, but not really. Is dead, killed from wounds. He 
Cook and uh, out of focus, and then I see Joffrey and I want to cried to steal his crown, 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 uh, and swear loyalty to King Joffrey. Your sister, Sansa. Okay, I I need a fucking. I need to see like an actual fucking photo of this. I need to see a legible fucking photo of this, okay? I and I need half of it to not be out of focus, so. Am I supposed to know what this says? I'm just gonna whatever, I'm looking it up. Okay, here's what it says. Rob, I write you with a heavy heart. Our good King Robert is dead. Kill from ruins. He took a wounds he took in a boar hunt. Father has been charged with treason. He conspired with Robert's brother against John. My beloved Joffrey to steal his stun. The Lannisters treated me very well. Provide me with comfort. I beg you, come to King's Land. Take sword of fealty to King Joffrey and prevent any strife between the great houses of Lannister and Stark. Okay, okay. This makes way more sense now. I mean, I'm assuming that Arya read this and it says, I beg you, come to King's Landing, swear fealty to King Joffrey and prevent any strife between the great houses of Lannister and Stark. So it probably just like confirms to Arya that like Sansa's against the house, against uh, House Stark, because that's what that's what Arya was implying in the first scene with Sansa. Be like, I know what you're doing, you know. After Arya already confronted her about like her loyalty to John and everything, and I mean Baelish was watching her outside the door too. Like he knew she, he knew she was gonna go in there and read this note. So this motherfucker probably planted it in there on purpose, like a savage probably cause an inner feud in the family damn oh my god see that's why that's why i really like baylor's dog you know he knows exactly how to just be a step ahead what a savage i love that but at the same time Arya can literally just change faces she knows how to do it so when she, if she really wanted to spy on him when she just change his face change her face you know, and just act like someone completely random. And then, like, if Baelish does catch her, she could get away and then she change her face. And then, you know, but doesn't she have to kill someone to take their face? And she probably doesn't want to do that. So, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she has to kill them to take their face. And so, maybe Arya's kind of trying to play chess on him like that. Because no one knows she can do that. No, no one. She's never. She hasn't told anyone in Winterfell that she could do that. So I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. But yeah, that was Game of Thrones season seven, episode five. I really hope no one that's going to the north dies, but some some of them probably will. But anyways, comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.